Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Matt and Mike, Team Diecast, coming back to you with a uh, game review. We uh, we got the chance to crack open Marvel United and want to give you guys an idea of uh, how we felt about it. This is a game from Simon Games, the good old Cool Mini or Not, where you play as your favorite heroes from the Avengers, at least in the core box. There's, uh, there's some cool characters. We got to try out a, a Venom. Uh, so that one was pretty sweet. Yeah, that was a special one that we got from the location that we got it picked it up at. There was a, there's a, I guess for a quick breakdown on it, um, each each hero after selecting gets their own deck. Um, those decks are uh, those decks are kind of tailored towards that character and somewhere how like uh, with their theme on yeah. like Hulk can smash an entire area and destroy all the thug tokens in the location. Captain America tends to give orders or be able to help people um, perform heroic actions uh, because that's what Cap does. He's America's ass. You, Tony Stark, Tony Stark lends tokens all over the place. Iron yeah. Man, he anything Cap doesn't give, Tony gives out because he's the guy that got all the money. Oh, yeah. Um, so quick um, synopsis on how this game plays. With your team of up to four superheroes are trying to take down a villain by stopping different plots he has throughout the city. You have six locations that you bounce between and try to stop thugs and rescue civilians and thwart evil schemes that are going on in those locations. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as it sounds because the, uh, the evil villain is generally somewhat intelligent and leaves traps for you so you have to figure out a way to work around those as you go also as you as the game progresses that villain gets to activate more often when you put him on his back foot so it starts making it a, a really uh, really rough timer for the heroes to work with it's a very strong theme of cooperation you have to work as a team one of the nice benefits of it is when you play a card, the pl person that plays next gets to use your card as well as their card they play. Only the base abilities, not specific or special abilities that are only given to your character. However, being able to use a smash from Hulk while you're also Black Widow using, heroic, using a heroic ability is pretty nice when you're trying to take out an evildoer and save a citizen. The gameplay on this is actually pretty fun, very quick paced. Everyone everyone moves quickly. It's uh it's not a game where there's a lot of thinking to do for your turn. You have your hand that's in front of you. Um if you run out of cards, uh, I believe it's if you run out of cards, then uh you get KO'd. Yeah, your hero is knocked out. And then if I think it's if you run out heroes. of cards in your hand and your deck, then the game is over. Oh yes. Or if the villain's deck runs out, it's automatically game over. So there's a couple soft timers in there. Plus the villain starts speeding up, so it keeps your interest. It keeps you engaged throughout the entire game. You're paying attention to the moves of the villain. You have to pay attention to your moves. You have to communicate amongst your team members on what cards being used first, so that you know what can be used next to most your most efficient or highest efficiency. It's uh, it's great for cooperation and teaching individual like how everyone learning how to work together in a, in a game to win. And with what Matt was saying about the villain moving faster, the villain normally activates after three players do their actions, which keeps the static classic turn feel not there because it's constantly changing up each time the villain goes because it's a different person he goes right after then once you throw one of his plans the villain's like oh shit so he kicks it up a notch and now you guys are having to chase him and he's moving even more quickly yep because then it's every two he's coming at you so it, it definitely makes it so that you really have to stay engaged and you have to understand what the villain's abilities are. You have to understand what your fellow uh, hero's abilities are. 
and hopefully you can work together to uh, in the in the end save the day save the citizens take care of the villains and uh, rescue all the individuals that need help now the couple games we played we played against a different villain each time and I definitely have to say that the each villain plays very uniquely and changes up the feel of the game dramatically when you're trying to plan for say taskmaster after we finished after we fought taskmaster the first time and you start fighting against red skull the entire dynamic is different so you um, once you learn it It'll be a little bit easier, but this the game doesn't take on, or doesn't uh, put on kids' gloves at any point. And if you do feel it's fairly simple, they do have increased difficulty modes built into the game as well. Yeah, maybe we're just stupid and we're just terrible at it. But if that's the <laughs> case, then please play on the higher difficulties. See what happens. Now, let us know what happens. Component-wise, in here. They actually did a pretty good job on all the different components. Super cool miniatures overall. I think that they could have done a little bit better making them not the, the super chibi, but uh, yeah, that's probably more so the theme of the game that does that. Yeah. Each of the different figures, like Iron Man here, definitely very nicely sculpted, dynamic posed action effects on the base. I would definitely show off old, uh, yeah, old boy there. And then there's Venom yeah. and all his viciousness. Now, Venom's super cool. Like, I want to paint that mini because I think that one's super, oh, yeah. that one's awesome. For all you Hulk fans out there, you know you're out there. He's, <laughs> he's of course, number one. If you, if you don't think he is, you guys are just sad. As well as the core set comes with three different villains. We have Taskmaster, Ultron, and the ever-present Red Skull. As far as Ultron goes, if he's if he's as terrible as he is made out to be, versus the other two, um, the game's definitely going to be much harder when we play against him. Right now, against the first two. It's uh, it's been a, an experience. Now, um, all the tokens are your standard cards or cardboard tokens, nicely printed for tracking your different actions, health signs. And there's plenty of them, so if they, over time, if they get you rub worn, faded away, like there's still plenty to go around for long enough. And then, if as you're still using it, then get acrylic. Yeah, and then for each of the different locations, each location has its own special abilities as well as max number of spots you can put the little thug tokens or civilian tokens on them. And that's another portion of the game that makes it interesting or, or really intriguing for everyone is, is what location are you at, what location ability have you unlocked, and is that, is that location ability beneficial or detrimental to the team? because there are certain locations that require you to do two hits or wounds, so to speak, to take out one thug rather than doing one hit or wound to take out a thug. And that makes a world of difference uh, depending on which villain you're against and what's happening at that time. So like, here's the basic center dashboard of the game. As you see, you have the three main plans of the villain that you're trying to stop as you complete them it doesn't matter which order then you get the different effect that triggers the first one the villain starts going faster second one you can actually attack the villain directly which is the his like protection you finally track them down and if you stop all three of his plans all the heroes get a bonus card added to their hands unfortunately we haven't seen that part yet <laughs> Yeah, we've gotten close to defeating them. They thwarted us each time, though, unfortunately. Just a couple cards, too. Like, uh -huh. one, maybe two. Um, other than that, box is cool. Mini sit where they're supposed to where they're supposed to sit. Decks sit where they're supposed to sit. Um, as an example of the decks here, we have uh, 
We have Ant Man. Um, this is what we were speaking about when it comes to their ability at the bottom. That is a move, and that move, when this card is played, the next person in line gets to use that move. The top ability here, where it shows move and three punches, that means that he is the only one that gets to use that. The next character gets to use the one that's at the bottom. Um, that's a specific ability of his called Grow. Um, he also has other ones. There's like a wild card. A wild card allows him to perform either a move, a punch, or a heroic action. And then you have other ones that allow you to perform two heroic actions. So there's these decks have different abilities, um, and as you go through them, uh, one of them like uh, his his uh, quantum leap, that one right there, that one's specific only to him. And since you've stared at it for hopefully long enough, swap <laughs> this card with any of your face up cards in the storyline because that's what you're generating right now is a story playing these cards that card becomes the one you played this turn. So, really powerful ability. You can take any face-up card in the storyline and make it the one that you just played. Um, Allows you to get some of your good cards back that you played previously, which is always very strong. Absolutely. Um, and again, like we said, every hero has a different flavor. Um, the game is super easy to learn on how to play. It is. It's. It took no time. On um, the speed of play, you're probably looking at a half hour, 45 minutes after you learn the game. I think it would be cool to do it with a, a 30 second timer for each person, because just to oh, yeah. just you to could make easily play. speed play this game. It is one of the fastest games that yeah. still keeps you very intrigued. Absol absolutely, it's a it's a neat. I uh, I had my reservations at first because. The other uh, Marvel game that had come out was uh, the Crisis Protocol, I think is what it was. Yeah, the and, skirmish game. And that was a skirmish game, and I'd heard lots about that, and that it was amazing, and I was thinking, well, maybe Marvel United just rode the coattails of the Marvel name. But uh, it is actually like a really, it's a really nice game all on its own. Um, if any of the plans from the Kickstarter, if they are going to be going out in full swing with the rest of this... They have tons of expansions that they've already made that are just waiting to come out. Like they have a Thanos Infinity Gauntlet expansion as well as different um, Asgardian themed expansion where you get about a Loki and Hela. That'd be pretty cool. I think uh, I think they'd have a pretty solid Hela figure for, for this one. I, I can't wait to see all those expansions and to see how they all play out. But for the core set, it comes with a great assortment of characters as Captain Marvel, Ant-Man, Black Widow, Hulk, Captain America. And in our set, we got Venom as a bonus extra. So, I mean, there's, 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 no, uh, there's no limit to the options that you have. And of course, you know the Marvel name, so there's plenty more that's going to be added to it. Um, if you if you're looking for especially like a really nice fun game, it's quick to play, um, definitely replayable. Very I mean, family friendly, as well as it keeps the older, more um, deep strategy gamers intrigued because it's a very on your toes play, but it's simple to learn. Absolutely, we uh, I I think this one is definitely a good win for us. We'll make up some sort of rating system that only works for diecast and diecast members. So sooner or later, <laughs> once we get that, we'll let you but know. Exactly. It's definitely a thumbs up for me. So hell yeah! Um, from most of our team, we haven't heard anything bad. So other than that, that's a uh, that's the rundown of Marvel United, guys. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions on it, or um, if you like it or want us to do a review on another game, just let us know. We're slowly trying to crack these out a little bit more. The right. more we do, the better. The more we do, the, the uh, hopefully the better off it is for everyone else. Right. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let us know how we're doing in the comments. Absolutely. Have a good night, guys.
Until next time.